Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. And today, I'm gonna be answering a super simple question that I've been asked literally hundreds of times over the past couple of weeks, and I thought it would make a lot of sense to just answer the question for everybody at once in this video. Now, of course, the question is, when will the sixth anniversary LRs be dropping on JP? And of course, for Global 2, but it's much more relevant for JP right now since they're gonna be getting it very, very soon. And the short answer is at the end of this month, at the end of January. But of course, you didn't come to this video for something vague like that, right? You want a specific date. But unfortunately, I can't provide that for you because I don't know for sure. But what I can do is give you a range of basically two days, right? And the way I figured this out is super simple. I just went through the release dates for the dual token fest lrs for the last three anniversaries the three year the four year and the five year and uh, as you guys can see we're starting here with the three year lrs and gogeta and vegeto both came out on january 31st 2018 okay moving on to the four year lr super saiyan 4 goku and super saiyan 4 vegeta they came out on january 30th okay 2019 and then for the LRs last year, we have Super Saiyan Blue Vegito and Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta, and they dropped on January 30th as well. So essentially, based on the trend, we can gather that they like to release anniversary LRs, anniversary units, on either the 30th or the 31st, and I would expect the same trend for this year as well, so expect the 6th anniversary Dual Dual Confest units to come out on either January 30th or January 31st. 2021, which means that for JP players, yo, these guys are literally less than three weeks away. It's like two and a half weeks from the time this video comes out. So if you guys are not ready yet, then you don't have a lot of time. Start saving your stones now. I mean, you probably won't be able to save that many, but every single stone counts and you never know. Yo, one multi or even one single could be enough for both of the new LRs anything as possible and i wish you guys the best of luck if you are going to be summoning and of course you should be summoning because anniversary units are always insane and anniversary banners are always insane as well from a value perspective right now for my global only players out there we're still a ways away but we can probably expect to see the sixth anniversary units on either july 9th or july 8th so uh basically the first week or first the second week of uh, July, about, you know, six months from now. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Like I said, a super, super simple question with a super simple answer, but I've been getting asked so often on my streams, in my DMs, through email, on Twitter, and so on and so forth, that I just need to get this video out there. Now, before I leave, I do wanna give you guys, you know, a quick reminder of just like, yeah, how crazy these anniversary banners are. Okay, so these were the fifth anniversary banners, and each of them had three Dokkan Fest LRs. We had STR Gogeta here, we had Incel, and we had Fizz, LR Goku, and Vegeta, or, you know, Gogeta, and also a bunch of top tier TURs. I mean, back when this banner came out, Broly and Gogeta were still. I wouldn't say like super new, but relatively new and absolutely amazing. I mean, they're still amazing now, actually. So yeah, these two are awesome. This new Bardock, even though he wasn't a Dokkan Fest exclusive, is really, really good. And uh, this guy was not so exciting at the time, but with the easy A, he is easily one of the best TURs in the game, right? And once this guy gets an easy A, he's gonna be awesome too. And then moving on to the Vegito banner, we had Vegito himself, this Trunks and Mai, is uh, absolutely awesome. And we also have AGL Gohan. We have Int, LR Vegito, Trunks, and Zamasu. This guy, eh, he, he's okay. And then we have Super Vegito, Mer Zamasu, and Fizz Vegito Blue. Literally, in my opinion, if not number one TUR in the game right now, top three easily, right? So yeah, these banners were absolutely phenomenal. And uh, I expect, you know, this year's banners to be as good, if not even better. Now, of course, we don't exactly know what the units will be, right? We don't actually know what the Dual Dual Confest will consist of. We 
have a pretty good idea of what one unit's gonna be. You know, LR Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku is all but confirmed. He's not 100% confirmed, but at this point, he's like 99% confirmed with all the leaks and the figure and all that stuff, you guys. Probably saw the videos everywhere. So we know Mastered UI Goku is gonna be one of them. It's the other unit. That's the question. Of course, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta seems to make the most sense, and I really hope that if they do release him, he's the first 170% attack leader for Pure Saiyans, because we need one. Like, I really want a 170% attack leader for Pure Saiyans, right? Like, it just, the category needs it. I don't think it would make it, you know, too broken or anything like that. Obviously, it is a very good category, but, you know, 170% attack wouldn't break the game or anything like that. And uh, it's gotta be Vegeta that gets the next Pure Saiyans leader skill. Okay, because that's been the trend, right? Like, Vegeta's always the Dokkan Fest leader for Pure Saiyans. I know we had, like, Super Saiyan God Goku, the LR, but it's not quite the same. They gotta give it to Vegeta. It would be a shaft, in my opinion, for Vegeta if they decided to give the Pure Saiyans Dokkan Fest leader skill to somebody else like Goku or Bardock or whatever. You know, there's a lot of options, but it's gotta be Vegeta, in my opinion. So, yeah, it's most likely gonna be MUI Goku, SSB Vegeta. Uh, it could also be a hit. It'd be kind of cool, actually, if they kind of changed things up and gave us a super and extreme anniversary. I mean, let's be honest. We need a new hit, right? Tech hit? I mean, he can be good in certain situations, I guess, but he was overall a pretty massive disappointment. And considering how powerful the character actually is, like how dope he is in the anime, in the manga, like, he deserves a much better unit than what we actually got. So I hope that if it's not SSBE, then it's a tech, or not not tech hit, just an LR hit. Doesn't matter what the type is, an LR hit. Um, there's also been some speculation about Jiren. I just feel like, you know, full power Jiren came out so recently that they're probably not going to release another Jiren. Unless they release, like, a, you know, like, base Jiren, I guess, that transforms into full power Jiren. But, I mean, it's still so close to tech LR Jiren's release. But then again, they did release, you know, STR UI Goku, you know, like around the same time. So I guess a Jiren and UI Goku, you know, Dual Dokkan Fest is still in play. It's still possible, but I just don't really see it happening. I think it's either gonna be, yeah, SSB and UI Goku or Hit and UI Goku. Yo, Hit might actually just be wishful thinking. Like I actually wouldn't mind that at all. I just want a good hit in this game. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about that. Let me know, you know, what you actually want from uh, this Dual Tokan Fest. I mean, MUI Goku is a lock, so we're basically speculating on the other side of this Dual Tokan Fest. But regardless of what the units are, we know they're going to be absolutely insane, right? We know they're going to be game-breaking, especially MUI Goku. I mean, he's going to be easily the best unit in the game after he comes out, right? Like, I don't think there's any doubt in anybody's mind that they're gonna make him absolutely ridiculous and uh, yeah I'm excited guys I will be doing some summons on the JP side when the banners drop so look forward to those we got some collabs planned all that good stuff so if that sounds good to you then make sure you've got that notification button activated make sure you're subbed to the channel um and that's it guys thank you so much for watching as always if you liked the video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see and definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. Hit that notification bell. All that stuff I already said before. And uh, until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.